Uh, they're going to have to take a hard look at their budget. I spoke to a mom who says she's going to see a $500 decrease in her food allowance because this extra additional SNAP benefits is ending. And back in December, I spoke to Forgotten Harvest and other people who run food banks who tell me when benefits decrease, their lines grow which is really unfortunate right now because they're also dealing with inflation and they're having to cut back on services. So this series of unfortunate events is causing a lot of uncertainty for Michigan families. With six mouths to feed, food is always top of mind for Jessica Burrell. Juices, waters, um, you know, things to take to school. With the help of SNAP benefits, she's been able to keep a healthy supply but her pile will likely dwindle as the state rolls back its budget. Since May of 2021, the state, trying to offset the impact of the pandemic, gave families on assistance additional money to keep food on the table. But that ends today, meaning Burrell's $1,436 budget is going down to 993 When you have a one-year-old and a two-year-old that relies on milk or other kids that relies on milk and eggs and bread, things like that, the necessities of things and if things are going up, it's so hard. Naja Bazzi runs Zaman's International, a food pantry in Inkster. She tells 7 Action News as food benefits go down, lines at food banks will grow. For all nonprofits, our goal would be to not turn people away. But at some point in time, it is a capacity issue. And with the economy being what it is, the variables all there to make life for a nonprofit much more difficult. In December, I reported 80% of food banks were running on a deficit, at least five in Metro Detroit closing its doors for good, putting food security in jeopardy for many Michigan families. Still, Naja tells me nonprofits will make a way. We will figure it out because we have no choice but to figure it out. We're hoping that our donors will step up to the plate and other partnerships that will step up to the plate to fill the gap. Now, the Food Bank Council of Michigan told me back in December they're working on uh, pushing legislators to pass a bill that would allow them to purchase more food from local farmers and vendors. So that would save them money, which would hopefully stretch their supply. But that hasn't happened yet. So in the meantime, if anyone can donate food, money or time, you're asked to do that. Live in Oak Park, I'm Kiara Hay. 7 Action News. Yeah, the need is great already, and it sounds like it's going to be even greater here in the weeks and months to come. Thank you for that live update, Kira.